OBQ, what comes to mind other than the word yum? Well, for some, it's pulled pork. For others, it's ribs, brisket, or maybe even chicken. And what about the sauce? There's tomato-based sauces, vinegar-based sauces, and of course, those dry rubs. Well, on this week's Carolina cooking segment, Jason Turza's heads to Shelby to the famous Red Bridges Barbecue Lodge, where for more than 70 years, they've been doing barbecue just one way, pit smoked. From the side of the road, it may not look like much. I've been coming here as long as I can remember. My kids grew up one, two, three, four, right here. But it's been here seemingly forever. To be here 70 years is a miracle. It's not broke, don't fix it. Some people have been coming in their entire lives. Since 1946. We eat here every Sunday. We come in here way more than we probably should. <laughs> Red Bridge's Barbecue Lodge, right off Highway 74, just outside of Shelby. You can't beat it, not as far as I'm concerned. They say it's the best barbecue in the Carolinas, just might be the best in the nation. This is the way barbecue should be prepared. It began in the early 1940s. Red Bridges worked as a cook in the Army. He enjoyed it, so when he got out, he decided to open up a restaurant with his wife, Lytle. My grandmother was working in the meal. My grandmother quit the meal and said, we're going to open a barbecue place. And the manager said, you'll never make it selling barbecue. And now the barbecue's still here, and all the meals are shut down. Red learned the fine art of pit cooking barbecue from legendary Carolina barbecue man, Warner Stamey. Originally called a Deadman's, the restaurant opened in 1946. Three years later, it was renamed Red Bridges Barbecue Lodge, and in 1953, moved to its current location off Highway 74. Red died in 1966, leaving the business to Lytle, known to everyone as Mama B. Mom, this was her baby. Mama B focused on consistency and quality. 12-hour workdays were her norm. She worked so hard, and that's what made it happen, because she wanted to make sure she succeeded. And my mother seen that in her, and that's what she did. And now me and my brother see it in my mom, and that's what we're doing. She was the first one in the door, and she was the last one out the door. And she was 80 years old when she retired. Mama B passed in 2008, but the restaurant remains in the family. Daughter Debbie Bridges Webb and grandchildren Natalie and Chase run it now. I started uh, cooking meat when I was about 14 years old. And I started waitressing when I was 15 years old, and I've been here ever since. One day soon, the fourth generation will come on board with Natalie's sons, four-year-old Jackson and 10-year-old Parker. And he'll tell you, he said, this is my business too. So what is it about Bridges Barbecue that's allowed it to thrive for seven decades? The same thing we do today is the same thing we did 70 years ago, nothing changed. The huge stack of oak and hickory wood out back is where a serving of Bridges Barbecue begins. Greg Young is Bridges Pitmaster. Each night he fills the furnace with wood, then loads the pork shoulders onto the grates, skin side up. They smoke about 35 pork shoulders on weeknights, 60 on weekends. And we don't put any additive on it. We put it straight on there, no spices, no salt, no sauce, anything. Next, a cardboard okay. covering. This helps circulate the smoke and holds in that smoky flavor barbecue fans love. <laughs> then it's time to chop up the coals and spread them underneath. It's done every 10 minutes for the first hour, every 15 minutes after that. In that room, it's probably 140 degrees. 150 degrees, I mean, it gets very, very hot. The meat cooks for three to four hours, then cooled an hour or so before being flipped and smoked another three to four hours. After that, I let them cool for two hours and then I put them in the cookers, the little slow cookers, and that maintains the heat. The whole process takes about 12 hours, going all through the night. And from there, he gets them off, off the slow cookers all day long. But by then, the bone's sticking out about that far, and you can take that bone and just pull it with two little fingers out of there. When the restaurant opens at 11, the shoulders are chopped, served to customers all day long. If you get the bark part of this barbecue here, the brown part, that, that's where the flavor's at. That's what you want. In 2016, Bridges won a who's who of barbecue spots in a nationwide competition on Thrillist, a popular food, drink, and travel website. More than 80,000 votes were cast. I'm in the trucking business, and I've been all over the United States, and I've eaten barbecue all over the United States. And every time we, we eat barbecue somewhere else, we always say, it's just not Bridges. Like the meat, the barbecue sauce has been exactly the same since Red Bridges created the recipe. It starts with tomato ketchup, then comes the vinegar. Toss in some sugar and lemon and stir it all up and simmer. It's just a ketchup vinegar based sauce. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a sweet, it's not hot, it's just a little tart sauce. Everybody loves it. I don't know, he come up with it back in the 40s and we hadn't changed a thing. So if it's this good, why aren't more places pit cooking barbecue this way? 
cost is one reason. Sure, if I wanted to come in here and put my shoulders on a cooker and set a timer and come back in the next morning and then be ready to go, no wood cost. Playing with fire is another. It's so dangerous. I mean, it's all that grease builds up and the ashes on the bottom where you're spreading the coals. Say on a regular night, you're going to have two or three spark ups, little fires. I can walk in a barbecue restaurant and I can tell you whether it's pit cooked or if it's cooked on a cooker from the smell. Red Bridge's Barbecue Lodge is all about family. From three generations of owners to longtime employees and customers who keep coming back. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Scherzis reporting. Thanks so much, Jason. If we've made you hungry and you're ready to race off and get some, well, remember this. Red Bridges is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays.